calling all high school students with an interest in science. Next weekend is your chance to test and expand your knowledge of the human brain. Perform well enough and you could win a trip to the lower 48 to compete on a national level. Wouldn't that look good on the resume for college? Joining us this morning to tell us about this year's Alaska Brain Bee and how to sign up, UAA professor Rachel Hanna and former Brain Bee winner, Jessinger, Jessica Reisinger. Good morning. Good morning. I combine your first and your last name. <laughs> the Brain Bee, what's it all about? So the Brain Bee is actually, it can be an international competition about uh, students exploring what they know about the brain and having fun with each other and exploring other people, uh, having fun with other people that also like the brain. So that's what it is in a nutshell. But here, the regional event is at um, the Anchorage Museum, and we do activities and get to see how much we know about the brain. Can you break down how this brain bee works? Is it like a spelling bee? Oh, absolutely not. Okay. Um, we have, we, uh, we keep it very informal. Uh, and for, in fact, the first morning we've been, uh, the morning we work with um, people from the museum and uh, the neurophysiology students that I work with. We create activities that people can just learn more about the brain and get to explore that information. And then in the afternoon, we have a little closed door session of um, answering questions, uh, but mainly just in an uh, informal setting. Okay, it's very much Q&A based. You ask the question, they write it down on a whiteboard, show it. Exactly. We keep a tally, see who comes out the winner at the end. And yes. speaking of, what, what do the winners get? They get, uh, the top three winner, uh, people that win will get a GCI tablet, and the um, winner will get a chance to learn more about the brain with me, and then go to the national competition in Baltimore in March. So win or lose, what are the benefits of taking part in this brain B? Well, I'm, I'm uh, biased, right, because I'm a neuroscientist. I love the brain. I think it's awesome to think about. But the whole premise of the brain B is to build better brains um, to fight brain disorders. And so we hope that people get to explore um, the information and then say, hey, yeah, this is really neat to go on to think about more in college. So uh, Jessica, former champ, what was the experience like for you? Um, the overall experience was really great from getting to compete on the regional level and getting to interact with students from around the state that we have a lot of the same interests and we love science, um, to getting to go to nationals and getting to meet people from all over the country, who a lot of whom I'm still in contact with. Um, we get together on Facebook and Messenger and help each other with homework because most of us are in college now. Mm -hmm. And it was just great to meet people that have similar interests to me. So what kind of uh, doors would you say did it open up? It sounds like just uh, some friendships to start. And networking with other like minds. Yeah, it was a super great networking opportunity um, from getting to, again, at the regional level, getting to kind of explore science some more to getting to kind of work in a lab and um, prepare for nationals and learning more about gross anatomy. It kind of showed me that science is really what I want to do for the rest of my life. And to this year, getting to kind of work and collaborate with um, a team of people, getting to organize this event and work on something that we all really enjoy is really a great opportunity. So how do we sign up? Just go to the website? Go to the website um, and uh, uh, just fill out that questionnaire. Uh, it's open um, until, I think we're going to have it open until about Thursday when we have to cut the numbers. Uh, or, uh, so that would be February 8th. Um, so that we know how many uh, people to expect for lunches, but please come, come all. We and, enjoy. Any high schools, high schooler is welcome. <laughs> Absolutely, okay. um, uh, ninth through twelfth grade. It, uh, I've done brain bees in Vermont and Maine as well, and the more the merrier. I, I think this is a really rich um, uh, event that everybody gets a chance to meet people, and like Jessica mentioned build friendships about people that have like minds and like ideas with you and that you never know what the, an opportunity like this will open doors for you. And whether so. science is your strong suit or you're just looking to get interested and learn more, uh, the 2018 Alaska Brain Bee, an academic competition for high schoolers interested in learning more about neuroscience. Again, Saturday, February 10th at the Anchorage Museum. Registration now open. The winner gets an all expenses paid trip to the national competition in Baltimore, Maryland. Just head to uaa.alaska.edu edu slash akbrainbee to learn more and sign up. Thanks for your time this morning.